So what is resolution in photography? On today's video, we're going to talk about camera resolution and why it matters. Yes, your resolution matters when it comes to photography. Yet the biggest confusion about resolution is that people mix up input resolution and output resolution. Your input resolution is actually the quality that you can shoot your images at. For cameras, that means sensor size and pixel count. How much information you're getting at the time of taking an image. On the other hand, Output resolution is the resolution you export your final images to when delivering them to your clients. These are two completely separate things. Let's get into input resolution. With your input resolution, you want it to be the highest possible resolution you can get because your output resolution will depend on the purpose of the image. Essentially, the bigger the camera sensor, the more pixels you can fit in and the bigger those pixels can be. With bigger pixels and more pixels, you end up with more information within each pixel, which means you can capture more light, more information, higher resolution. So the higher the resolution, the more information you have. When it comes to full frame cameras, there is no crop factor, which means it is exactly the same sensor as a 35 millimeter camera. And that's usually a size of 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters. I know it doesn't sound so big, but in photography, that's actually a pretty big sensor. Full frame cameras are going to be the biggest possible sensor you can have, excluding medium format cameras, which we won't get into because it's a little beyond this video. This means you're going to have the most amount of pixels and the biggest pixels available with a full frame camera. Crop sensor cameras are roughly one third to one fifth of the actual full frame sensor size, so you're losing information. This is why full frame cameras are much higher resolution. So when we're talking about input resolution, we usually talk about it in megapixels, which stands for millions of pixels. Each one of those pixels hold information. So of course, the more pixels you have, the more information you have, the higher the resolution. And as I mentioned, full frame versus a crop sensor is a third of the difference. Let's talk a little bit more about this idea of full frame versus crop sensor and how that works for lenses. If you're shooting with a 50 millimeter lens on your full frame camera, that's going to look accurate and true to the lens. But if you use that same 50 millimeter lens and put it on a crop sensor, you're losing a third of that frame, which means that 50 millimeter lens is going to look cropped and it's going to look closer to a 70 to 75 millimeter lens. That's why when you're shooting with a crop sensor camera, you're lenses aren't as wide as a full frame camera. It's because you're losing one third of the information. So let's talk about input versus output resolution. When it comes to input versus output resolution, a good thing to keep in mind is the RAW versus JPEG conversation. RAW files give you many possibilities. You can shoot an image almost fully under or overexposed and still dial it back to correct exposure. You can change every single aspect from color to white balance, angle contrast and so much more. RAW files are simply the best kind of input resolution files. JPEGs are a great image format for output resolution only. That's because a JPEG is a closed file, which means that it should be your end resolution, aka what you give to a client. Once you're done editing and adjusting everything, that is your final file. With a JPEG, there is no room for modifying much because information is very limited with this file type. You don't have range. When you're shooting, you always want to shoot raw, period. I never, ever, ever, ever want to see professional photographers shooting in JPEG. And if you're just starting out and you wanna play around, shoot raw and understand the difference. You're going to see there's a lot more room to play in post-production, there's a lot more values that you can modify, and there's a lot of information that you can take and turn it into the actual output you want. I hope slowly you're starting to understand what resolution means and how it's different between input and output and how it affects the quality of your images. At the end of the day, it helps to know the difference between full frame and crop sensor cameras and input versus output resolution so you can make the most informed decision when it comes to shooting your photos. Hope you found today's video helpful and if you have any questions, as always, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you soon. Thank you!